Okay, I've had quite a lot of questions about a plant-based Christmas and what do you do? So I wanted to show you how to make our vegan main this year, which is this amazing Wellington. And I don't know if you guys have ever had a beef Wellington, seen a beef Wellington, tried a beef Wellington, but it's a kind of traditional British dish and you wrap um, beef up in pastry. So today instead, we are roasting a half a butternut squash. It's this lovely layer of squash, this bright orange. And then we're kind of coating that in mushrooms, which are sorted with garlic and onion and miso and pine nuts and spinach. It's got these great colors and flavors. And then we're coating that in the pastry, wrapping it up so it's all snug, and then roasting it, putting it in the middle with all your trimmings, and you are gonna love it. So first things first, we're gonna peel the butternut squash and chop it lengthways, and we only need half, so just save the other half, throw it into soups or salads, curries, stews, loads of different things you can do with it. The half that we are using, just de-seed it and then pop the whole thing in the oven with a little bit of olive oil and salt and cook it for like 30, 35 minutes until it's soft. So while the squash is cooking, we're gonna make everything else. So first things, we're gonna chop our onion and our garlic, and then we're gonna add that to a frying pan with a little bit of salt and olive oil and just start to cook that until it starts to soften and the onion starts to go translucent. While that cooks, I'm just gonna chop up my mushrooms and you want them really nice and finely chopped um, because those make up a sort of stuffing-like texture. We're gonna then add those to the onions and with that we're gonna then add the rosemary, thyme, pine nut and miso and cook everything. Once it's all nicely cooked down, just stir in your roughly chopped spinach and just let that wilt. That will just take a minute or two. So now we assemble. So we're gonna roll a sheet of vegan puff pastry onto a baking tray. And then we're gonna just divide our mushroom pan and just keep three quarters of it for one thing and just save the other quarter for another. The first three quarters, we're gonna do along the right hand side of the tray and you wanna just pat it down so it has a nice firm texture. And then onto that, we're gonna put our butternut squash. And then we're gonna use the other quarter of mushrooms just to lay it on top of the butternut squash so he's kind of all snug in there. And then we're gonna wrap him up. So first thing you wanna do is, because you've left a little bit of space between the mushrooms, and the end of the pastry, we're just gonna slightly turn up that end on the right hand side. And then we're gonna take the left hand side, wrap it all the way over and then tuck it over that little raised bit on the right. And then just use your hands to kind of firm it up, tuck him in so he's really nice and snug. And then just close both the ends down as well and just fold those in. And then once you've done that, just score along the top with a knife. It just look, makes it look really lovely as well. And then I just, use, I'm using a paintbrush, but you could use your hands and you just want to do a little coating of almond milk on the top. It gives it a nice little bit of crispiness, a bit of a sense of glaze. And then you just pop the whole thing in the oven, let it cook 25 to 30 minutes, just until it looks really nice and golden. And then just slice it up, serve it. I've got it with some roast potatoes today, but on Christmas do it with all the trimmings, carrots, parsnips, gravy, cranberry sauce, the whole thing. So there it is, it's actually super easy to do and everyone absolutely loves it. So please make it, let us know what you think. We're gonna be taking a little break over Christmas, so I'm gonna be back on Sunday the 6th of January, but if you guys are looking for inspiration, there are loads and loads of Christmas recipes on our social media and on our website. And otherwise, we will miss you and have a lovely, lovely, lovely Christmas. And thank you for all your support of Deliciously Ella this year. It honestly means the world and we have so much in store for you next year. Merry Christmas, bye.